Hey everyone, I hope you are having a wonderful time. Today I'm going to share my experience of using this SMS Audio AO300 Class D integrated amplifier that fully feature deck inside from Cyrus Logic, which is using CS43131 digital to analog converter chip inside with Infineon 5332MS Class D amplifier chip inside. It can put out 85 watts at 8 ohm load and 165 watts at 4 ohm load. And design theme has been changed lately, especially this AO and DO series has been reworked or they introduced new phase on those series. So a lot nicer and the control knob is a lot smoother, nice feeling to it when you turn in it or when you push in it. AO300 feature 4.4 millimeter headphone stage and 6.3 millimeter unbalanced headphone stage. If you push it, it will get into main menu. So input you have USB, optical, coaxial, Bluetooth, and ARC input. So that is the HDMI audio return channel, which is very convenient. Uh, analog auxiliary input, so all those are featured in this AO300. For the output stage, you can choose either speakers or headphones. I'm going to be using speakers, equalizer, you can choose different type of uh, equalizer in here, but I never use any of them. I only use direct. So these are tone control, the treble or bass that you can do. And filter, you can do a lot of different filters here but i'm only using non sampling filter so that is my favorite feature of latest sms products and color you can change it to different color here for the screen the lettering not the actual screen this bt clear is clearly connected uh, Bluetooth devices. So dimmer, you can change it to always on and always off. So that then they have to change it to screen on and off because I mean dimmer, it doesn't dim anything. So then a factory reset. All the digital inputs that it features plus you have maximum DSD capability and 768k PCM, MQA and MQA CD capable. And some people are saying why they keep making MQA DAX, right? MQA is they have a big market in Asia, okay? So they will be keep on making it, but you know, I don't mind it because I mean, better to have more than less though. It has very good signal to noise ratio. It can do dynamic range of 107 dB. So that is uh, pretty good for this tiny component, right? And then price is only $289. So that is significant price because you will not find similar sound quality in I mean comparable price range. Overall sound signature is clean and transparent dynamic sound with very good separations and detail that it can produce, right? So that kind of sound quality under $300 come with very good noise performance, come with very good digital to analog converter chips inside with fully functional remote control that you can use. Plus, you get subwoofer out so you can do 2.1. And biggest upgrade on this series is it featuring HDMI ARC. So audio return channel is now fully feature. But there is no more USB-B input in there. They change it to USB-C. So all the digital inputs is there plus you get analog RCA input. So if you already have AO200 Mark II, this one is very different design. This one is fully integrated, meaning it has headphone stage, DAG, and amplifier stage all together. AO200 Mark II is just amplifier with balanced architecture. So those are the differences. Uh, I think power supplies 
they are using very same power supply. So I will put the circuit board image in here. So overall, the price is so good. But not only that, sound is so good. Because in this video, you will hear sound sample of this EO300 driving this Kef R3 meter and Musician Night One back to back for your reference, right? You can listen to it and it highly capable. You might ask me, are you trying to hype up the product? I never do that because I'm just sharing my pure excitement and experience because this one is surprisingly so good that I'm gonna keep on using it on my streaming system. Streaming system meaning, you know, Netflix and Apple movies and everything online streaming, including music. Usually I don't stream my music in here. Mostly I listen uh, from my music server or from my turntable. Streaming music is okay, but it's not for up to like, you can do a reference point because I've been trying that and not there yet, especially, you know, reproducing the uh, stereo image and precise uh, location and that kind of stuff is not there yet, And but they are louder. So when I was listening this AO300, uh, one of my reference tracks, such as a Billie Eilish, Ocean Eyes or Diana Krall, No Moon at All, or I Left My Heart in San Francisco, those kind of tracks and many male artists. And what I find is the image is very well. It can project very good stereo image, but not in precise manner. It has white and broad soundstage with good uh, balance sound with nice image, but not center focus position image that like you might wonder, is it Volca coming out of here in the middle? Not that kind of stereo image. But the image is very good for the class D amplifier. Separation is very good as well as giving you nice and precise sound signature and tone and balance. So overall, sound character is transparent and neutral sound, but you can play around with it. it feature latest SMS uh, noise light filter, no filter option. You know, technically no filter option in these kind of Delta Sigma decks are technically better than real noise decks because it, it can correct the errors. So that's why I kind of prefer that kind of noise filter option in Delta Sigma decks. This one is very good at doing it. And it also features the EQ, so you can change it and tone control as well. For the subwoofer out, I think it's cut out at 50 hertz, so you just tune it from there, so you'll be easier to fine tune it. Overall sound quality, I like it so much that I'm gonna be keep on using it in my streaming rig, and that because I can play around with it, but I never change a uh, PCM filter or EQ setting. EQ setting always stays at the direct PCM filter is NOS non filter option. That's always the same. So that's what you're going to hear in my sound sample. And then the price is crazy, right? $289. We are getting all those features, right? NOS like filter feature with good amount of driving power and every high risk capable, I mean, you name it, it can do it. Only missing is the uh, streaming capability, right? Sooner or later, they will introduce it. I think hoping to get there in next year, that's what they're gonna come in. And then probably price range around, probably like five, six hundred dollars and you get everything in one box and all you need is a two speaker. That's all you need, so they are coming out. So. I mean, if you're gonna spend $500 for your integrated amplifier, or like seven, dollars $800, or even $1,000 for all-in-one integrated amplifier, including DAX and everything, try this EO300. I do have a one negative or slight negative, nothing major, which is it can 
get a little bright time to time in upper range of frequencies. So that's about it. But that is an easy fix and you can adjust in trouble or you know all that trick that you can do in the EQ setting. Other than that, I have no complaint at all. Instrument separation, I think this one is slightly better than the AO200 Mark II and SU1 combination or that kind of a budget deck combination. This one can produce more resolution and more detail. The reason I'm so excited about this AO300 is price to performance and quality of the component features and everything combined. That is absolute bargain. Under $300, my friend, you get it all. You get everything you need pretty much. You just throw in uh, your streamer or your phono stage and turntable and streamer or even your laptop, then you're all set, good to go. Whether you're gonna use in Bluetooth streaming or audio return channel, doesn't matter, whatever you may need, this AO300 can do it all. So I can wholeheartedly recommend it to you to try it, my friend. Thank you very much for watching and happy listening. Next one is, it's called Kiss of Life. And let's hear some bass.
on the bass, Mr. Koriboe Keisuke san. On the guitar, Oruma Yosuke san. Next one is, it's called Kiss of Life. And let's hear some bass.
Star Braid on the bass, Mr. Pretty Boy Casey Thomas. On the guitar, Autumn Mayor Casey Thomas. 